Hello everyone, this is Christian from Elisis. Today, I'm going to show you how to send program changes to the Strike Multipad from Ableton. This will be extremely helpful if you're running backing tracks from Ableton and would like your Strike Multipad to change presets along with your setlist totally hands-free. Let's get started. Power on the Strike Multipad and press the utility button. Make sure you have the global MIDI channel set to 1. MIDI sync set to internal unless you want to use Ableton as a source for MIDI clock. The program change switch set to on, so the Strike Multipad knows to receive program change messages. And the 5-pin MIDI to USB set to off. Finally, connect your Strike Multipad to your computer via USB. Open a brand new Ableton Live set. Once you know how to do this on a new project, you can implement the changes into your other projects. Go to the Category section and select Instruments. Then click and drag External Instrument into the empty MIDI track. This is how we will be sending MIDI out of Ableton and into the Strike Multipad. Now you can toggle between Clip View and Device View by holding Shift and pressing Tab. In Device View, click on the MIDI 2 drop-down menu and select the Elisa Strike Multipad. By default, the MIDI channel will be set to 1, which is what your Strike Multipad is already set to at this point. If this is on any other channel, the Strike Multipad will not receive the program change message. Make sure your MIDI track is record enabled and double click on an empty box to create a MIDI clip. At this point, you should be in clip view and see the program change section of your clip. Preset kits are assigned to program changes 1 through 30 and user kits are assigned to 31 through 100. So if you want to select the first user kit, you will have to send program change 31 and so on. Type in 31 to the program change field. Make sure that the strike multipad is on another preset to make sure that it's receiving the program change. Play the clip and you should see your strike multipad change to the first user kit. You can also copy and paste this clip into arrangement view. So when the sequencer reaches a specific part of your arrangement, the strike multipad will change its preset. Here is an example of multiple MIDI clips with different program changes playing consecutively. If you still require additional assistance, please visit the link at the bottom of this article to submit a support request or connect with one of our technical support representatives.